does he think he is? I just told you who I thought I was. Ollie Oxen. I just told you. That's who I think I am. We move all into our new studio space. We're in the process of trying to organize everything and get it functional so that we can continue making builds and content. One thing that is very difficult to organize and find space for, the auxiliary cables that I have. In the past, I used to put the cables into this box here. See, I got my label maker just straight audio, video, and data cable. And that's primarily what I have, because over time, once you you know accumulate more builds, you get a lot of power cords mostly, but you got ethernet cords, HDMI cords that don't work anymore, and all types of different stuff. I came up with a solution that I think is gonna work. It did not, it didn't work. See here, these are all of the cables that I have, and right now they're just kind of everywhere. Keep them on the ground, keep them separated. Got USB cables, audio cables, all types of stuff. And what I've decided to do is put them all on this. This is a toolbar hook, usually used for like garage storage, so for rakes and brooms and all of that. But if you look here on the grip, they have adjustable hooks that allow you to put anything up to about a three inch diameter here and it clips it in to hold it. So I had the bright idea to use it for the cables. Now, I don't think any of these cables group together weigh more than three pounds, although that is the capacity for the smaller hooks. And I think it's six pounds for the large hook. Most cables that we have are the power cables. So we're gonna see how that holds up. But first, we gotta install it. Let's go do that. So we've run into our first challenge. We don't have problems around here. We just have the challenges to fix. These cables, since they are not one solid bunch or one solid this, when they bunch them together, the little nubs, they don't wrap all around the cables. They don't all stay secure because these cables right here aren't attached to anything. So when I let them go to hang by themselves, shit falls. And that's not good for long-term storage. So I have an idea to make sure that they don't fall. What if it doesn't work? It will work. My original plan didn't work out. What I wanted to do was 3D print a little something that'll close the gap. A little collar, thinking if I wrapped it around the front of the cords, it would fit. No, no, no. No. So instead of completely giving up on this video, I wrapped the cords up in Velcro first, put them into the clips on the wall, and it works. It fits up, it sits the way it's supposed to, cables are nice and secure. Instead of all that 3D printing, I'm gonna just cut up some Velcro, put them up on the wall, and get to the end of this video. All right, let's see it. Well, okay, we got it all done. Compared to what it was, this is pretty organized. So we got all of our AC cords and extension cords here. Some of these are like permanent batteries for cameras, power supply cords for computer power supplies and different adapters for stuff that I haven't identified just yet, but I know where they are and I know where to come get them. Over here, we have our display port cables, HDMI, random USB cables, the audio cables and ethernet cables. And everything is in a nice orderly place compared to where they were in that bin. And now I can have a little bit more space in the studio as we keep cleaning up and keep trying to get it usable. Hope you like it, hope it gave you some ideas as far as managing any cables that you may have. And that's pretty much it. If you liked it, please, Feel free to subscribe, drop a like on the video, and leave a comment about what spaces in your studio or your house may need some serious cable management and where you might want to utilize something like this. Other than that, I appreciate you stopping by and I'm going to see you in the next video. Check out.
it. Lay. Good girl. Stay. She stayed trying to get in the video. Anyway. <laughs>